from our previous video, we explored what vectors are in terms of what are the skills that you need to know enough for you to be successful. And the skills involves the following complementary angles, so Couture concept alongside Pythagorean theorem. And we looked at a case one where you're given two angles and luckily enough, the angle is a given. And in this particular given, we know that it is, hey, indeed, a right angle triangle because the particular information meets the criteria for a right angled triangle. We are given a side and we had an angle. And by so doing, we're able to solve this triangle given this particular design of the triangle A, B, C. And so using all these skills, which you'll find on our previous videos, we were able to determine the missing sides and one particular missing angle. And this was pretty cool when you're given an angle and a side. Now, in here, we have case number two, which I encourage you to try out. And here is the solution. The question here tells you that, hey, you are given a particular triangle where a, an angle is 90 degrees. We have a side that relates to that angle to be 17.4 units. And we have the other side, which is 11.6 units. And so, designing a particular triangle is really tricky when you're just given this type of information so in terms of solution how can we avoid this particular challenge this way to avoid this particular challenge is by doing what we know in terms of hey how do we design a triangle that meets that particular criteria what is first we know that one angle here is 90 degrees of course therefore the longest angle or the biggest angle possible in this particular triangle is going to be 90 degrees and therefore this will be assigned as q now which one is p either this one or which one is r which is this one depends all entirely on how the question is going to be set up as you solve as you go so therefore luckily enough we are giving q's side which is the angle that is rightly facing the specific side, which is going to be labeled as Q to be equal to, in this case, 17.4 units. And so, since we're given that, we are going to be determining angles and we're going to be determining not only two angles, but also we're going to be determining one side because we are given another side. Now, which one is R? You can pick this as R, you can pick this as R, but I'm going to pick this as R and pick this as P. So therefore, it must flow. P, Q, R. If you put P here, then it will be P, Q, R. So that is how you want to go in terms of approaching this type of questions. Keep that in mind. So now, if this is our angle for R, which is beta, therefore, the side that is facing that angle is automatically rr therefore this here is going to be the given side which is 11.6 now since we're given two sides and we are given one angle how are we going to be able to solve this particular problem in terms of determining what side p is which I'm going to show in terms of a different color, you know, just to keep it kind of, you know, noticeable, but also the two angles, alpha and beta. Now, it's difficult to find two unknown angles given one angle. However, you could use concepts that you know in terms of, hey, you're giving two sides, and these two sides here can be used to determine this angle and that angle. On the other hand, we can also determine this particular side given two sides, and that's pretty cool. So therefore, in conclusion, you can use concepts that you we talked about. We talked about so couture skills. Uh, we also talked about the Pythagorean theorem and we also talked about complete 
complementary angle relationship now complementary angle relationship won't work here based on analysis because we are only given one angle which is 90 degrees now the other is now left to us is in terms of so couture or uh, pythagorean theorem whichever way you go about it works for you but in this case i'm going to work with pythagorean theorem because in here the biggest angle which is 90 degrees has the longest side that is facing it to be the hypotenuse which is 17.4 therefore by assigning sides we can come up with a specific starting point to be able to break down this particular question so if this is hypotenuse this here automatically for r could be the opposite small letter r is given the angle that is facing this particular side is going to be automatically be our theta so that will actually work in terms of so to determine specific other you know side that is given but we're not going to do that we are going to use pythagorean theorem between this particular side which is hypotenuse which we're going to label as you know um the longest side in terms of the pythagorean theorem squared is equal to the r squared plus p squared therefore r squared plus p squared is going to be used to determine q squared now take note here that to solve for p all we have to do is p subject of the formula subtract both sides by r squared you get q r q squared minus r squared and therefore we will be able to perform the next step which is the square root of both sides therefore we have p is equal to square root of q squared plus r squared so therefore we are able to have our specific equation and all we have to do is put in our values for the variables in and therefore we'll be able to determine what p is by performing the square root of the square of 17.4 units squared plus we have the square of 11.6 units and therefore our p is going to be equal to in here square root of 168.2 and this will give us our specific answer to be equal to 13.0 approximately approximately units and so we are able to determine what p is uh, p using pythagorean theorem is equal to 13 units now in here we are seeing a couple of things that are really cool and fascinating the cool thing about this is that hey we have all sides determined we have the side for r which is 11.6 we have the side for p which is 13 and we have the side for q to be 17.4 now we still need to use remember that the given informations in our four we to be able to determine the missing side or and the angles so therefore since we're done with pythagorean theorem our next step is to use so -Couture. and the two things that we need here is to determine what is alpha which is going to be shown as the angle p and we need to determine what beta is which is what angle r is as shown in the diagram right over here so in this particular case what we need to recognize is that since we assigned this to be a hypotenuse which is the longest side because it is facing the long or the largest angle therefore we are left to pick beta to be our theta because beta is facing the given side which is 11.6
angle r which is beta is also theta and therefore we can use or assign this to be automatically r opposite and finally this will be our adjacent and therefore we can be able to solve this particular triangle in terms of determining what the angle is so first is the following since our beta is theta therefore we need to look at the relationship between this side which is opposite which is given and hypotenuse and the relationship is performing this inverse of our sign so therefore remember through so in this case sine of theta is equal to opposite over our hypotenuse and therefore this will enable us to determine what the specific angle is by performing the inverse of sine and this will be our opposite to be 11.6 divided by 17.4 and once you're able to do that we'll be able to determine what our theta is which is equal to beta which is also equal to our angle r to be equal to in this case approximately 41.8 degrees so 41.8 degrees is our angle for beta which is what we have right here 41.8 degrees and so there are two ways to go about determining what alpha is one way is by doing complementary angles and the complementary angle relationship shows that hey we have determined an angle in here which is kind of approximate um, and we are going to relate this angle to the total of all angles in a triangle or we use 90 degrees and we use that relationship to determine what alpha is so in here to determine alpha using our known concept of the complementary angle complementary angle we will say in this case that 90 degrees is equal to the sum of angle r and angle p and therefore since we know that angle r is beta and beta was determined using our specific relationship in terms of sine of the two sides that are given we can now use that beta to be able to determine what alpha is and by so doing by solving for alpha we are going to subtract beta from 90 degrees and by so doing we'll be able to determine what our alpha is so beta is equal to 41.8 degrees 90 minus that particular angle and our alpha is equal to 48.19 and that is how you're able to determine what alpha is right here now some of you might be asking why not do it the other way now let's see the other way uh, well from there we can compare and see whether we get the same answer the other way to determine what alpha is is by doing the following in here we know that alpha can be determined as well using so <laughs> uh, and in here using so uh, we are going to assign take note this time alpha to be in this case our opposite so therefore alpha is facing the side that is opposite therefore this side which is 13.0 automatically becomes the opposite and in this particular case we are going to use this as opposite and therefore reverse this will be adjacent and this will still be hypotenuse and so alpha using so will be able to show the relationship between how one can be less accurate and how the other can be more accurate and so using sine 
theta in this case r theta take note is not 41.8 which is beta but instead it is alpha remember that and so theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse and so where our opposite on one side is 13.0 which we're going to use here take note that we are going to have our theta which is equal to alpha remember that is equal to the inverse of sine and pointing that into your calculator for 13 units divided by 17.4 units versus the one that has all the significant units or figures or numbers after the decimal point which is where we have alpha to be equal to the inverse of sine but keeping and not rounding where we have 12.969 over unit over 17.4 what we recognize is that y1 for alpha is further away from our accurate answer which is in this case for these to be 48.34 degrees the other value using more significant figures is going to be shown to be more accurate to our specific complementary angle relationship which is 48.19 degrees and that is how this right here on our specific right side of the screen for the right side of the screen which is right here is more accurate or similar or the same as this particular complementary angle relationship which we have right here for alpha so in conclusion we are able to consider and determine take note angles and side just given two sides and an angle which in this case is the given for the shape of this particular triangle or the type of triangle and so using just two sides what we did was first we used the Pythagorean theorem to determine this particular unknown side and then we had to use in this case to determine our specific unknown angle since we're given the opposite well we assign this the opposite beta opposite therefore we're able to determine one angle and on the other hand by using the same concept as well but we flipped the opposite going from beta as opposite to now alpha side to be the opposite we're able to determine what the specific angle is which is for alpha so in conclusion we notice that yes using a more precise value will give us our answer that is more accurate compared to something that is a little bit already round off already because that makes a huge impact in our final answer so i hope you found this really informative for part 1b conclusion of vector skills that you need to know by you knowing how to use complementary angles find a relationship between so couture and that of pythagorean theorem giving information that will be crucial for you to be successful in this particular task all the same thanks for following me through this really appreciate it hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts about this by that way i can talk to you all soon stay smart as always and Believe in yourselves.